You know when you're given your homework or your notes, exam questions to complete, and it's a PDF document which you can't edit? Well, I've got just the thing today that will help solve all of those problems so you don't have to print it every time. Hi everyone and welcome to Miss Estrick Biology. My name's Miss Estrick and I'm a teacher of over 10 years here to help you get to grips with those challenging topics in biology, improve your study skills and help you to get the grades that you deserve. So we're doing something slightly different today. We're not just focusing on biology. This could apply to any subject at any level, whether you are key stage three, GCSE, A levels or degree level. In fact, particularly degree level, I think this will help. What we're gonna go through today is, there are free alternatives that do exist on the internet, but one of the key reasons that I much prefer this PDF element by Wondershare is, the free versions online, if you actually have a look at the terms and conditions, they often say that if you use it, then you are giving them the right to have access to that document. So if you wanna have your own privacy, not have to share whatever the document is, then this is perfect. Now this is something I really wish I knew about before now. As a student, but also as a teacher, I can see so many useful applications for this. Particularly since a lot of learning has gone online now, most homeworks are set electronically and submissions are often electronic instead of print. Which means for the student, if you can actually edit these PDF notes or exam questions you're being set straight away it will save you so much time and as a teacher it makes it so much easier to mark and give feedback you don't have to print you don't have to type out a separate word document or email you can edit the document live so let's take a look at some of my favorite features PDF Elements is an all-in-one smart PDF editor and it's the easiest way to create, annotate, convert, edit and even sign PDF documents. And you can use it on Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, the lot. Now PDF Elements is the best Acrobat alternative and it is a great way to improve your documents productivity. So let's take a look at some of my favourite features. Okay, so let me show you some of my favourite things I think will be really helpful as a student. So here's the first thing. We can see that you can actually use the PDF element on um, your specification, for example. And what I've actually done is I've used the PDF elements editor to annotate which parts of the spec are going to be on exams 2022. So when you're then looking through, you can make sure you're prioritizing your revision. So carbohydrates, for example, is coming up. So I highlighted that. You could then also go through and tick what you do and don't remember already. Um, and I've gone through here, you can see highlighting the key terms. That could indicate to you, these are maybe the key terms I need to know, turn with flashcards. Or it could be instead of making revision notes, you've got this and you can just look through and the key information stands out. Now, if you're not as keen on highlighting, there is also the underline function and it is so easy to use. You just click the word and it underlines it for you or it highlights it for you. So you don't have to try and worry, making sure you've been really accurate, drawing it on, it's automatic. Um, you can also add in maybe things that you've seen in the mark scheme. So here for proteins, we could be saying that the role of the bonds in proteins, that's always coming up in the mark schemes and the locations of those bonds is essential to creating the folding and the unique 3D shape. So that's one thing that I think would be fantastic. Whatever your spec is, you can annotate and highlight. Or another option is I've got my A-level notes that I'm just showing you here for one part of the spec. And instead of printing them out and annotating in lessons or as revision, you could, if you had an iPad, you could just use this or you can use your phone it works on iOS and Android. And you can annotate in the lesson any extra information, highlight the key points. So you can see here, I'm saying that the teacher's told me in the lesson that that is a key marking point from the spec. Um, I've also indicated other things like knowing that semi-conservative replication comes up in Meselson and Stars experiment. But really what I'm just showing you here is that you can then highlight, underline, edit, add text boxes. Just like we did to the spec, you can do that for the notes that I've got. Or if you've got my active recall workbook, which is the workbook which tests all the knowledge from the A-level, 
Instead of printing it, you could use this to write your answers in. And then instead of printing it, you've got an electronic copy, so you don't have to print out every single page. You can do it wherever you are on the go. You could do it in your study periods at school. As long as you've got a device, you can annotate, save it, or don't save it, and you can try it again at another date as another attempt without having to print it again. It's really helpful because you can do free handwriting, text box, underline, any of those markup edits, I think it's so good. And it's really intuitive. I'm not the most techie person, but I found this so easy, just looking at the symbols at the top to understand what they are. Um, I've even got here a little post-it note. I know loads of students love to stick their post-it notes on to say extra information, or as I've said here, to point out that you just couldn't remember that bit of information, revise that in more detail. Another idea is with the exam papers, I don't know what your print budget is like at your college or if you've got a printer at home, but to do all of the exam papers takes a lot of paper. Even if you're gonna do it in a pad, that's a lot of paper. So you can instead do exactly this. Use PDF elements to answer exam questions. And you can then do it multiple times, saving different versions, attempt number one. A week later, attempt number two, was it with notes, was it in time conditions? Write it on the front and then you can see how you progressed through your revision. You've got the highlighter um, feature, so you can highlight those key instructions and key information in the exam question and then you can write your answer straight in. So whatever exam board you're doing, whatever course it is you're doing, degree, A-levels, GCSE, I think this is a fantastic way to use PDF elements to really enhance your studying and your revision. And it would work for any subject. Now for the sciences in particular, you do get graph questions. And this is one issue that I've always come across before. If you were just going to do it, typing your answers instead on um, Word or other programs, one issue I often find is graph questions where you have to draw a ruler line to like read off on the graph, it's really hard to do. But for PDF elements, like you can see here, you can just click the shapes options, get a straight line, draw your line, and then if it's not in the right place, you can slightly tweak the angle, tweak the position, and then you've got your perfect ruler lines to read off, even for maths questions. Now this next feature is awesome. OCR, which is this inbuilt way that it can recognize text from scanned documents. So if you've got something that's been given to you by a teacher, let's say a set of notes, exam questions, you can actually scan it in, click the OCR text button, set it to English, and then it will actually convert it into text that you can edit. You can move it around on the page as well. And that could save you so much time. If it was something that you wanted to rewrite and add it to your electronic notes, you don't have to rewrite it. Just click the button, you can drag and drop, you can edit it however you want. You can even do that for the images. So we're actually looking at here at one of my incredibly old university assignments, um, which I happen to find in the depths of my computer hard drive. Um, and looking at it now, I'm thinking, mm, that picture's actually not in a great alignment. You could click that image, move it around, swap it. Or if you realize that one of the references was incorrect, you can edit it. If it was already saved as PDF, you can still edit it, so that's awesome. Now this last way that I'm gonna show you is a big shout out to all my teacher followers and subscribers. Um, I know you're out there. This is how I've actually used it the most because I'm a teacher and not a student. And that is I often get sent exam questions or essays as a PDF format to mark for my two T's. And until I found PDF elements, I would literally type all the feedback in a Word document and say, look at paragraph two, look at paragraph three, or in an email, because I didn't have a way to edit and annotate directly onto their PDFs. And now, as you can see, using PDF elements, I can actually link directly to the bit that there's an error or I want to give feedback, put it in the text box. I can also, at the end of the document, just give a text box of overall feedback, um, or if there's a particular bit you want to highlight and note down, this was actually answered really well, um, underline the key marking points, write on corrections for maths, whatever it might be, English, basically any edit you can do. And it is so simple, so easy, and doing this has saved me so much time in marking. And it means that I don't have to bring back huge piles of marking, instead I've got all the documents there, I can just sit down with a cup of tea, edit it, done.
it's amazing. So for students, teachers, those are my favorite features. And that's what I think you'd probably find the most helpful in improving your document productivity and your overall revision time and efficiency. There are other features though as well. You can actually create PDFs here, drag and drop images. And if you're having to create scientific posters, particularly as a university student, I think that would be a fantastic use. There's also ways to add signatures so you could send documents to get it signed. You can add confidential or draft watermarks, whatever it might be for your needs. There is so much there. So if you do want to check this out further, I'll put a link in the description below so you can have a look for yourself. But that's it for today. So if you have found this helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on my weekly help videos.